In this activity, we review the queuing in a process exercise. This scenario addresses how to use a message queuing service. A queuing service allows you to add more resiliency and scalability to the data transaction. The process is designed to be configured as a web service listener process, but in our example, we will use test data. Also, please note that your installed process will not have the SQS connection configured, therefore your process will be for example purposes only. However, you can set up a free developer account on Amazon Web Services, and it is quite a simple process to link to your SQS service. Let's first take a look at the Amazon SQS service. This is the Boomi Training SQS service, and you can see that right now there are zero messages available inside the queue. This is the first process to look at. This is the SQS example send account XML to Amazon. Under normal operation, the start shape would be configured as a web services listener, and it would be configured to accept a single XML object. For our test purposes, we have configured a no data start shape, followed by a message shape, that is populated with XML information that immediately goes into a split accounts shape, which will turn that one message into three XML documents. Next, we have our try catch shape in order to try to send these documents to the Amazon SQS service. Now take a look at our connection and you will see that there is an Amazon AWS access key and a secret key that is required to establish a connection to your SQS service. And the operation itself is quite simple. We'll be attaching to the Boomi training object that we just showed, and we'll be sending information. Next, let's take a look at the SQS example read and process Amazon. So this first process sends the information and our second process will read the information from Amazon. This process is designed to pick up the documents from the simple queue service, and each document is then processed into a Salesforce account object. So we begin first with accessing the simple queue service, and a simple decision shape will then check if this has data or not. This is followed by a try catch shape, which will run these two sub-processes to update the Salesforce account and then to delete that message from the SQS service. The first sub-process updates our Salesforce account. You can see that it begins with a data pass-through shape, and the first shape we encounter is the set properties shape, which does a connector call to Salesforce to pull out the correct account ID. And it will pull out the correct account ID based on the account number that is being passed in. And here we are using company ID. The decision shape then checks to see if this is a new account or not by checking if that ID already exists in Salesforce. If it does not exist, it means it's a true account and therefore this information will be inserted into the account object as a new account. If the account already exists, the data will then be used as an update to the existing account. The second sub-process deletes the message from the SQS. This sub-process also begins with a data pass-through. It will connect to the Amazon SQS, and in this case, the operation will be a delete. So let's test this to see a working example. The first step will be to send information to the Amazon SQS. So the information has been sent to the Amazon SQS and we can confirm that by taking a look at our queue. And we see now that three messages have been sent and are waiting in the queue. The next step would be to run the read process which then updates the Salesforce account and clears that message from the queue. So this process has run successfully. We can take a look at our queue quickly. 
to see that two messages remain. So one message has been processed. And here you can see that the message has successfully run through both subprocesses as well. So if we click on here and then shape source data, we get the blue arrow to be able to look at this particular subprocess. And you can see here that both accounts already existed in Salesforce. And so both run down the false branch and are simply updated. Now we can take a look at the delete subprocess as well. And you can see here that the one document was passed in and was successfully deleted from the Amazon queue. For you to turn this into a working example, you would have to create an Amazon SQS account using Amazon Web Services and then update your Amazon SQS connection so that you're using your unique access key and secret key and then connecting to the object that you create. In our case, it's called Boomi Training. In your case, you could call it whatever you like. And that's the end of that activity to be able to use a simple queuing service.